Hey, it's Roman with Deer Park Farmstead. It is day 10 on our incubator. We have 56 eggs in there right now. It's full. So we just went ahead and put a good variety of eggs. We were able to kind of be a little picky on what we put in there. So I'm gonna go over the lighting isn't that great inside there. So that's why I'm starting here. So I wanted to show you what's going on. We candled and everything looks really good. I was really surprised because we kind of candled a little a little early on the first time. Uh, it was like day three and a half. So it was way too soon. And so we just decided, hey, let's just wait until day 10 uh, and then we'll go ahead and candle again to see how the progress is. And we're really happy with how things are going on. So I'll show you right now how things are going. All right, there you have what we put in here. There are several different types. It kind of looks like there's a lot of uh, the same, but there are differences in here. We have uh, some Americanas in here, cream leg bars. Uh, it looks like there's uh, a lot of uh, the same browns, but actually some of these are, uh, this whole row is uh, Well Summer, Moran, and then Delawares. So all those are going to be uh, Olive Eggers and also um, like a, an Americana type mix type thing. And then over here, we've got more leg bars. Uh, we got a good amount of leg bars and they all looked great. Um, and then there's like maybe a few Buff Orpington Americana mixes. So um, we had some success with the Leghorns. So there's a there's two white eggs in here and they're both fertile. Uh, so things are looking really good. I think we I mean we didn't even take any of the eggs out. We thought there were the there was maybe two actually one that was questionable a leg bar it was an early early leg bar that we collected so we put it in here anyway so we'll check on day 18 and see if perhaps you know it is fertile they it, it it did go further along than we thought so you know it's better to be safe than sorry just go ahead and leave them in there nothing will happen to it so we're really excited about this. We've got a lot of different varieties here with olive eggers, Americana, uh, just a good, good variety. And uh, we have like four people waiting for some of these eggs. So, um, you know, you can't get much better than that. And we're just gonna start collecting more eggs and we're gonna get another 56 after this right away. So this is some exciting stuff here and uh, the uh, the other little chicks I'm going to show you in a little bit, the two lake horns I'll show you. Alright, there's one of the lake horn chicks. They're really sketch. One just jumped out. <laughs> well, they're doing really well. Really happy. Eating well. So these are like dog mats. See that one just keeps wanting to jump out. This is not good. <laughs> uh, anyways, these are dog pads, pee pee pads. We just doubled up, use this crate, and have this heating pad that fits in here. I'll put it in here and you'll see how nicely it fits in here. So there's a heating plate that goes in here and it fits perfectly snug in here. Um, they adjust with the height and uh, so as they grow you just keep adjusting the height make it higher and higher and this little cone on top prevents them from falling you know on the plate or jumping around and jumping on top of it and getting burned so Got to keep, your, keep them safe in here. They love being underneath that. And they love pooping. <laughs> but they're, you know, this is an instant brooder right there. Good way to start them out before they go in any larger brooder that you may have 
made. I'm also very happy to let you know that our first hatching uh, Americanas, our, one of the ladies finally laid an egg. So super stoked on that. We're gonna be hatching uh, more of those eggs and getting them in this incubator, 56 more eggs right away. So this is some good stuff, very excited. And uh, we've got some already some people that want them. So this is good, good. I hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you on the next one.